Hi, doing a quick video. This is a, a power supply out of a Polaroid 37 inch LCD TV, Tatung PWB 1038. I believe there's a power supply similar, um, similar configuration made by someone else. But this is 1038 uh, API model 16LD05. Uh, right, this one was. Uh, wouldn't turn off of standby for a few minutes and then would come on last for 10 minutes and switch off then all of a sudden it made a bang so I'll give you a rundown what I did so if I take these covers off there's a little switch mode power supply chip made by Inf Infeon is that how you pronounce it? I'm not sure Infeon just down there I've got a heatsink unsoldered and taken off at the moment it's a little 8 pin chip down there, it's the um, ICE3B2065, little switch mode power supply, I believe that does the standby uh, and empowers up the uh, rest of the circuit and these FETs for the rest of the uh, TV when it turns on. But the important bit was, so there's a 10 ohm resistor here that had gone open circuit I'm hoping this IC was blown up, I haven't tried it yet, but if this doesn't work then I'll edit this video. So I've changed this chip, got it from eBay for a couple of pounds. Changed this uh, one, I've put a 1 watt resistor, turn on. I think the original was probably a little bit less than 1 watt. But the important bit, which is why I thought I'd do the video, on the back, let's see if we can get you focused in sure how close this camera will zoom in. In between the legs of the chips, which are here, there's little surface mount resistors. Uh, two of them are the same, but they're all in parallel, but they had exploded. Uh, but I've got my 12 to 1 magnifying glass. I was just able to read uh, one of the destroyed ones. And these two resistors here, they're 1.8 ohms each. 1.8 and then this one here is a 10 ohm and it's in parallel so the effective resistance is just under roughly 0.9 of an ohm something like that but yeah, I thought if you were in the same boat as me and you don't need to know what these resistors are 1.8 ohms, 1.8 ohms and 10 ohms hopefully that's all that sort of uh, blows up on these these boards I did, I did phone a couple of people who do repair these boards a cost they supply like this this driver here I'll show you this driver here drives the big FET on the other side uh, there's a fuse which is in some insulated insulation the fuse can go if this chip explodes there, there's various kits you can buy for about 20 pound but the kit didn't include these two components or three components so I thought I'd do this video uh, as I say, this one's for a Polaroid 37-inch LCD. Uh, thank you very much.